Hello beautiful people, I'm Rach Phoenix and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the Garnier Fructis Style Curl Treat Butter Hydrating Product. That's a lot to say, but I'm going to be doing a review on this product so if you'd like to see my thoughts and see how I used it, just keep watching. Hello, it me, full dirt mode. <laughs> So I'm starting off with my Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Conditioner. So this is a regular conditioner, but I like to put it in my hair after it's freshly washed just to help with detangling and to help keep the moisture in. So I'm going to be starting with the front of my head, so I'm just using my hand to section off the first section. Um, I don't use a comb for sectioning my hair off, just for detangling. And before I go in with the comb, I just like to kind of tug on the ends of my hair to help with detangling. And then from there, I'll start at the ends and comb my way up. And here's our star of the show, the Garnier Fructis Curl Treat Butter. So this is the amount of product I'm starting off with at first. So I'm putting it in between my hands, rubbing them together, and I'm just going to work it through my hair. The amount of product you put in is definitely going to depend on your hair type, so I'm just massaging it into my hair, making sure that it's fully coated from the ends to the, my roots, and from there I will start sectioning off the hair to start doing my flat twists, and my hair is also still damp. I'm not going to go too in-depth about how I do my flat twists. I do have a video where I do go more in-depth about it, and if you are interested, I will link it at the end of this one. But I just want to show you guys like how I'm working with the product and how it had given me the results you'll see at the end. When I get to the end of my twist, I also bantu knot the end so it doesn't come undone while I'm sleeping. I'm just working on my next section of hair now, so I'm always detangling while I'm doing my hair. So I'll section it off, detangle, and then I'll put the product in. So that's kind of my process for whenever I do this. So I'm going in and I'm adding some water to the product. So this product is thick, okay? She's thick. So I'm putting in water just to kind of like dilute it, make it a little bit more easier to apply to my hair. And then of course, just paying attention to how evenly coated my hair is and then adding as I go, depending on how thick or thin the section is that I'm working with. And when I get to the end of my hair, if I feel like there's less product on the ends and I don't know, it feels like it evaporated, disappeared into thin air, I don't know, I'll add more product just to make sure that Bantu knot really stays in. From here I'll let you guys watch my process, but pretty much I'm working through the sections of my hair. I'm paying super close attention to how wet my hair is and then also just paying attention to the consistency of the product, adding water when I need to, and making sure that my hair is damp enough to really like hold on to that product and make sure that it's holding and locking in moisture and not just the style if that makes sense. because. If I just put the product in and my hair isn't damp, like I said, like it's a thick consistency. So it kind of just like, I don't know, it kind of feels like it would, it would just sit on top of the hair. I haven't applied this product to dry hair, but it feels like it would do that. It feels like it would just be, I don't know, like a weird situation. So that's why I'm constantly adding water. And if I'm not adding water, then my hair is already damp enough to be like well receiving, so to speak, of the product.
Here are the completed twists, so I'll be going to bed with my hair like this. To take the hair twist out, I'm going to be using my Garnier Fructis Marvis Oil Hair Elixir. So I like to use this pretty much to keep the moisture in. It makes my hair soft and then also just helps with dealing with frizz and like not having frizzy hair. So I just put that into my hand, massage it together, and then I just kind of use it like as I'm taking my hair out. It's not like I'm putting, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the product is on my hand, so as I'm taking the twist out, it helps with applying it at the same time. Like I'm not too heavy handed on this product. It's kind of like just to make sure it's there as I'm taking my twist out. But I do want to also add like this product, like you don't have to use this specific product. I just in particular like using this like whenever I'm doing my hair after whenever, you know? But if you want to substitute that's like balling on a budget, you can use coconut oil. And then also for like the um, conditioner that I used in the beginning to put in my hair before I started doing the twist like you don't have to use that conditioner use whatever you have that makes your hair easier to, de to detangle but I do want to show you guys kind of like my recipe for how I got to the ending point After all the twists are out, this is what my hair looks like, so I'm just going to quickly style it, and that's a finished look. Okay, so for my review on this product, I do want to give you guys a heads up that I ended up keeping my hair in the twist for two days, not because I had to, but because I wanted to and I was kind of lazy about taking it out. <laughs> but um, I definitely have no issue with this product giving my hair the um, kind of defined curls that I wanted from the twist out. The only thing about this product, I hope you guys saw it when I was like taking the product out and showing it to you on my hand, but it is very thick. So this has a very thick consistency. It is under $10 and when I think about it in comparison to the consistency, so I always had to keep adding water. My hair had to be damp in order for me to get the product to massage into my hair. With adding water to the product, it's kind of like you end up using less of the product because you have to water it down to be able to get it into your hair and massage it in to do whatever style you want to do. So taking that into consideration and the fact that it's under $10, I feel like this product is going to last you a while, especially with the amount that's in it. It's 10.5 fluid ounces in here, so you're definitely getting a really good deal with the price and the fact that it's going to last you a while. So if you're balling on a budget, this is a product to go with. The only downside of that is I feel like what I look for, because doing my hair already takes a long time, so I don't want products that are going to make it take even longer to do my hair. So to take product, add water, massage it into my hair, it's like it's adding another step. That does that. That is a bit of a downside for me. And then also, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it's like as I was taking my hair out there was kind of like this flakiness that it left so on top of thinning it out once the hair dries and you're taking out the twist there's these like little flakes that kind of come off and that's another thing that kind of bugs me it's like I want to be able to put hair product in my hair take it out and not have to worry about little flakes or whatever so I did notice that a little bit it, it wasn't anything obnoxious it's just literally like like taking the twist out and then after that when you have your hair out like this and you tie it at night like it shouldn't be an issue but those are the only things that I noticed were kind of like a eh, little bit on the negative side but on the positive side it's really great for the price, the amount that you're getting, and the fact that it's going to last you for a really long time. So I definitely approve of this product and I'd say if you're balling on a budget and also the fact that it's easier to get since it's a Garnier product like you can go to Rite Aid, you can go to Stop and Shop, you can go to wherever and get it. Whereas for me, I know like for other products that I use, I have to go specifically to the beauty store, specifically to Target, and it makes it very difficult to get it if you're not able to like get there, you know? So that's what I do appreciate about this product. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Bless up, and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye, guys.